over in Brazil, there was goals galore over in Group B. Yes, of course, Peru fought back from a 2-0 deficit to take a point from Ecuador. We'll take a little look. Back once again with another match review. Looking back, of course, at the Copa America match over in Group B, and we'll get to that in just one second. If you knew, where have you been, boys? Smash your subscribe button, leave your hang up to date with all things Copa America related, Black and Rose related. Whoa, football, we're gonna all here, boys. And no one, Ruski, that's right, of course, as of course, it's heating up over in Europe, it's heating over here over in South America, as of course, we get closer to those quarterfinal stages, and we'll take a look at those in just a second. A big, big shout out to the VIPs, they are the Patreons. Thank you very much for your support of the channel, and if you are new, check out the links down below. Links to my other social media platforms on the Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and of course Patreon. And again, make sure you subscribe with the race to 25k. So here we go, lads. 2 2 in the end here it was, of course. Yes, indeed. Ecuador with uh, opening up a two goal lead on Peru uh, right before half time as well. The first goal, a big fat O goal. Nice breakaway play down the left hand side, cr put a cross in the ball in the, in, the, in the box, and of course tapped home by the wrong man. That's uh, Renato Tapia made, of course, the 1 0 win for Ecuador, putting it in the back of his own net. Uh, it was actually double, the lead was doubled. Uh, on the uh, it's just deep, deep, deep in the stoppage time in the first half. Aiton Presedo knocked in a uh, from a set piece. Uh, the delivery went off over the wall uh, into the, near the box and of course scrambled home to make it two 0 Game on, and you would actually think three points going in favour of Ecuador. But guess what? It all changed early in the second half as well the, with the coolest name in town. It was Gianluca Lapadula uh, with a 49th minute goal to give Peru a bit of hope. Uh, and of course, five minutes later, they actually doubled their lead and of course uh, doubled their score and actually made it two two with Andre Carrillo. Uh, Making it two apiece with Lapadula placing the ball, this time a cis maker uh, to Andre Carrillo with a breakaway down that left hand side and he tucked it in. Goodness gracious me. Good game. Of course, goals galore. Action stations keep Peru in the mix as well as Ecuador. We'll have a look at the situations in the table in a minute. But let's have a look at the stats then, shall we? 58% of possession going in favour of Ecuador, 43% or 42% possession going in favour of uh, Peru. Uh, 15 or 16 shots to their seven. Uh, Ecuador, of course, on fire. Six of them on target, five of them off target. Uh, five of them were blocked. As for Peru, seven shots, four of them were were on target, two off target and one was blocked as well, 13 corners to zero wow wow we were, if they were better at the set pieces it probably could have been a better, a better, a better a scoreline at the end for, for Ecuador but unfortunately they couldn't convert from that um, Ecuador missed two big chances, uh, two of the big three chances they did miss as for Peru, they had of course three chances, three big chances, one of them uh, was also missed, uh, 427 passes for Ecuador compared to the 3-3-2 for uh, Peru, 79% uh, of those com were completed by Ecuador and 76 was completed by Peru as well as for the uh, aerial duels, they were bossed uh, by Peru 19-16 as well. Let's take a look at some other uh, stats and figures with the shot grid. Uh, of course, Peru are in the uh, dark colour here. A couple of long-range bad boys. One little screamer uh, from a well out wide, uh, which of course it looks like it hit the target as well. Of course, a couple of little zingers as well going wide as well. Number 13 popped one from way off uh, midway through the uh, the attacking uh, area. As for Ecuador, as you can see, they actually peppered them, convincing a couple of wild shots out here. And I've got a lot of shots within the box as they try and of course the goal was in there a couple of goals were in there as well so uh, as for the uh, heat maps here is Ecuador coming at you a lot of grass a lot of grass covered if we take a look where the goalkeepers position so they are moving uh, from left to right here so they, that's where they're um, attacking areas this is the goalkeeper so this is the attacking every blade of grass has been covered you don't see that very often especially if you do all the reviews for all the other games in Europe and of course here in South America you hardly ever see stuff like this where of course the majority of grass has been covered uh, the right hand side was their uh, preferred method of of passage uh, with of course coming down the left occasionally as you can see up this top left hand corner as for Peru again the keeper very very busy they're attacking every year. again a lot of grass was covered uh, you'll give them a bit of, bit of credit for that uh, and of course they're attacking every year. it was also pretty good as well but, uh, resorting to a lot of long range ones it looks like as for the touch grid here as you can see a lot of coverage and again up in this up in that top end there um, a lot of touches a lot of possession but unfortunately they couldn't convert uh, to make uh, make the, the possession go in favour of the three points as for Peru a little sparse as you can see with, with the touches, and again, more sporadic as well. Take a look at the starting line. We're going to start with uh, uh, Colombia here. They did mix it. Uh, sorry. That's the starting line. So we're going to uh, take a look at uh, Ecuador here. Of course, uh, G Galindez between sticks. Ake uh, Hincapi, uh, Arvadola, and uh, Pervis Esteban. Uh, probably the most expensive man on the field here. With £13 million rated from Villarreal. And Gala Prasado, uh, Jenkson Mendez, Moses Casado from, of course, uh, Brighton. Uh, Damien Diaz. A veteran, uh, Alan Franco, Aitem Prasado with the goal, of course, Leonardo Campagna. 
up top, just 20 years old. As for Peru, uh, Pedro Galli, uh, uh, Gales, uh, Kistrin uh, Ramos, Alexander Gallens, Miguel Tariccio, Aldo Cozo, Renato Tapia, also on the score, he's actually the most expensive man on, on the pitch there. Yosemi Yutun, Sergio Pena, uh, Christian Cueva, and Andre Carrillo, uh, with Gianluca Lapadula, the coolest man in town. Let's take a look at the substitutions there. We did see some uh, subs. Pedro Ortiz was uh, not used today. Uh, Christian Noba, Fidel uh, Martinez, Angel Mina, uh, Jordi Casado, of course, he's a uh, 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 23 year old striker and Mika Estrada with the coolest haircut in town as for uh, Peru we saw the likes of Miguel Adu Arajujo uh, Willia Catayenga uh, Santiago Aramino and Luis Ebricio as for the uh, match ratings and things like that uh, Ecuador going with a 4-4-1-1 uh, as for uh, uh, Peru going with a 4-3 a 4-2-3-1 uh, Gene Luca, Luca Lapalula with a uh, 8 uh, match rating apparently the best man on the pitch with uh, 8 in Prasada with a 7.8 uh, Purvis Usterman with a 7.4 as well at the back uh, so those were the the, 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 the game changes the difference makers uh, and down here you can see the timeline of events of course the uh, own goal uh, this goal apparently I thought was credited in uh, in the first half I believe it was the first half uh, I just recall the, the replay of the goals the second half of Peru uh, and a lot of changes at the back end Let's take a look at the situation in the tier then shall we pal of course Brazil are leading the charge three, three from three we'll talk about that game in another video uh, Colombia are just about there they've played all their games of course Peru though can finish above them uh, with a game in hand Ecuador still got work to do so to Venezuela level on two points as well just the one defeat a piece for them of course of losing to Brazil it looks like well Brazil got to take on Ecuador so Ecuador could be the team that will not make it through to the knockout stages as for Venezuela they will be taking on Peru and of course a win for Peru will put them into second and a win for Peru could put Venezuela out of the competition so we'll explore those of course as we get closer to that but that's it my friends that is all I've got for you of course it is uh, not game set match Josh yet Colombia though I think are through to knockout stages and I would imagine uh, Peru are there too I don't think there's any. Is there a scenario that Peru, uh, Colombia could get knocked out? So quick, think about this. If Ecuador would beat to Brazil, they could go up to five points of advantage when they beat. Uh, no, I think I think Colombia through. Anyway, that's it, my friends. Be sure to give the video some love and smash your thumbs up. Smash your subscribe. Check out links down below on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and of course Patreon as well if you want to support the channel. Another way, I do appreciate the Patreon. So if you want to do uh, become a best mate for life, check out the links down below. Patreon.com/slash Rosies. But anyway, until then, I'll see you soon for the next one. But until then, I am out.